Okay, so earlier I had told you about uh, my concern uh, with the dog butcher shop. And you know, you may find this to be incredibly difficult to believe. I could just show you a picture of one. But then you might say, well, that, that's probably an old picture. Something from long ago. Now, here I am, uh, oh, by the way, I'm in China. Um, so I'm going to walk along here and show you that along my left here is a dog, a mutton and dog butcher shop. Oh God, something horrible just happened. Uh, there's a, I don't know if you can see him. There's a puppy right there. So someone has a dog out front. And let me see if I can switch this around. I don't think I can. No, so. Here we go, here's the person who works here at the shop checking out this dog. This dog looks, uh, he's chained up and uh, he's, he's not been eating. And uh, so let's see if I can get you a picture of the, the sign. Now you, you can't see it because it's backwards, but it's mutton and dog butcher shop. So this is uh, horrifying to me, this poor little boy He's shaking. I cannot do anything about him. Uh, so it's, a, it's an incredible tragedy. There's a man here. He's come out of the shop. He's now watching me closely. Um, and so you'll see him just over my shoulder, possibly. Yeah, there he is. So that's the guy behind me who uh, I believe is running this uh, dog butcher shop. And I, I can't do anything about it. So this is this I don't want Marco to come here. That's that's my concern.